Before all that, of course, your lovely husband, Spencer, yeah. has been on GMB this morning giving this interview, talking about his 30 marathons in 30 days challenge, all for charity. He's going to break a world, a Guinness World Record if he does it, hopefully. Yeah. Day 23, I think, Day, today. Yeah. Uh, well, look, he joins us now from Jordan. <laughs> oh, look at him. Look, hi, Spano. I didn't even tell him I was doing this with him this morning. Morning. <laughs> Your wife's working I, I hard. I know, how, how surprising. You, you look absolutely gorgeous, my love. I don't recognise you with your top on. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, you know, morning television and all, you've got to put it on, right? <laughs> Although I have to say, uh, well, congratulations on what you've achieved so far. You've already done a, your 23rd marathon this morning, is that right? That's correct, yeah. No, 23rd marathon finished about an hour and a half ago. Uh, so in better spirits now than I was then. <laughs> right, hey, listen, how much is your family playing a part in all those hours when you're just running alone? Like, what is going through your mind? Uh, I think about Virgin the kids a lot. I'm not just saying that because she sat there. <laughs> uh, but, but no, I, I, I mean, I spend most of my time with, with Virgin the kids uh, when I'm not working. So obviously it's a bit of a... It's a, bit of a uh, shift, but um, but you know we've had a plan that we're looking to execute. We're doing a good job out here, and uh, and uh, you know so far so good. We're on track. But no, I think about bogging the kids all the time. I try and be in touch whenever I can be. Unfortunately, signal is is yeah. not something that is just everywhere. But um, but uh, whenever we have signal, I, I try to be in touch. So Aww, I well, do feel like they're on the journey with me. Oh, that's yeah. so sweet. Well, because of the signal, we've actually got... A, you've done a little video, haven't we, with the kids? We did get you a little video. It was tough, as you know, with them. So... <laughs> Appreciate this. Yeah, good yeah. luck, Daddy. Good luck, Daddy. I hope you have a good marathon. And, uh, and I think... Yes, I... And I love you. And, 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 <laughs> oh, my God, it's so Mine. cute. Yeah. It's so cute. He loves the phone. Yeah. I, I feel like well, whenever... Whenever I call, whenever I call home to chat to Vogue or, or the kind of older kids on account of them being able to, to chat, I usually get palmed off to Otto almost immediately, and he just kind of runs into a room with me and stares at the phone and doesn't say anything. And you just uh, look so at the we ceiling we, I, for two minutes. <laughs> exactly. He loves yeah, I've it. seen a lot of him. <laughs> it's lovely. Listen, you, you, you. How many more you've got? You've got seven left. How, how's the body Definitely. holding out? The the blisters, the heat, all of that. You're in a beautiful part of the world. I've been to Jordan in the desert, but I was relaxing. You know, I was I was on the yeah. back of a camel, relaxing, uh, not doing what you're I'll doing. I'll tell, I'll tell you what. The, the beauty of the place does make it a bit easier. So, like the Wadi Rum Desert in particular is is uh, is is phenomenally beautiful. Yeah. It's got uh, incredible kind of canyons and and beautiful uh, cliff faces, all dark red deep red sand yes. so it's an interesting place to run obviously it's it's uh it does beat laps of battersea park <laughs> but obviously um the heat the heat is is quite tremendous actually it's uh it's it's really hot and uh and the 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 terrain is pretty troublesome as well at times you know you can get lucky and get some firmer sand uh and clock in a few easier k's but you can get really unlucky like i was today uh, marathon 23 was just a, a complete grind it was just so yeah. much uphill lots of mountains uh and it was just kind of never ending like you just nice. kept you kept feeling that when you get to the top it's just gonna you're gonna have a nice downhill bit and it was just never the case so oh, lots of elevation goodness. today uh but hopefully you know we'll use it as good experience bank it move on yeah. get the other seven done he's a machine isn't he now listen he have is. you got any advice for voca she's also doing 5k every morning by the way on a nice air-conditioned <laughs> room on a treadmill <laughs> that does sound embarrassing when you say it right after what he's just said <laughs> which is I why think, i said I think, it I, <laughs> I think I think what Vogue's doing is 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 amazing, and and beyond the five k that she's running every day, supporting me in general through this uh, particular dream of achieving this is is just is such a wonderful thing for my wife to do. Obviously, wow. I wouldn't be able to do it without the family's uh, support. Vogue is obviously at home, uh, you know, looking after our incredible children whilst I try and raise as much money as I possibly wow. can out here. But, uh, but I, yep. I'm, I'm deeply thankful, honestly, and I, I think it's... Good luck. Um, I'm really lucky to have such a cool wife. Yeah, well, you're, and you just, just goal, couple goals, as they say. Look at that. You're the cool uh, one. Gorgeous Spano. stuff. Right, listen, good luck. Rest up today, and hopefully we'll be talking to a world record holder in about a few... Well, seven days, yeah. Seven days. Good luck. Love you, Spano. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks so much for giving uh, the Great Desert Challenge a platform and, uh, and yeah, hoping, hoping to make a big difference to as many people as possible with the fundraise. Super stuff. Thanks, Spencer.